from fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, it's Casino Secrets with Vegas Vic and Ziggy. Hello, I'm Vegas Vic. Welcome to the continuation of our recent Periscope broadcast. We have a couple of questions about craps. Yes, craps. Okay, dice. Yeah. Dice man cometh. All right. Is dice slight... Now, they use, a lot of people use this term illegal. Yes. All right, and what a lot of people don't understand about casinos is there's a difference between illegal and just not allowed. Yes, there's a difference between illegal and not allowed, yeah. All right, so the question, the, the legitimate question was, is dice sliding illegal? Which, of course, it's not illegal, but is it allowed to slide dice? Uh, okay, uh, dice sliding is not illegal, and dice sliding um, is uh, usually not allowed if they can detect you. But let me tell you this, sliding the dice on a modern craps table is all but impossible, and you know why? Ziggy, why? You know why? You don't know well, why? Well, I'm going to guess. You're the but guess. underneath the felt are little tiny bumps that you can barely tell nope. that the dice will bump. No. Nope. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, the, you know the, uh, the, the print on the green felt? Yeah. You know, the ones that has the little white lines that differentiate? Yeah. If you slide your finger over them, they're just a little bit higher. Ah, oh, it's raised print. It's raised print on this. So what happens if you try to slide the dice, they will tip over that because it's just very slightly raised. And, uh, and, uh, and it's more pronounced on, uh, on uh, new felts. So if you're a dice slider, look for uh, craps tables that have old felts on them. And just, you know, before you start sliding dice, just, you know, kind of put down your chips and slide your finger around the, the, the painted lines and see, see if they are, uh, you know, raised or not. And if they seem, appear to be pretty smooth, then maybe you can try to slide the dice. But you, the, the craps, the box man and the craps dealers and the stick man, I mean, they're going to spot you in a second. Because, you know, you do it a few times and, uh, you know, they're just going to tell you, you know, sir, you have to bounce the dice and throw them over there. So you might get away with it for a couple of, a couple of rolls by mistake. But, uh, you know, basically you're going to get caught in it within seconds. All right. There's something in so, craps called buying. You're buying. Yeah, buy bet. Yeah. Now, why are casinos allowed to charge for the buy? On craps. Okay, well, because if you buy a bet, then you have to pay the VIG up front. And that is, uh, you know, if you, if you place a bet, uh, the, uh, the casino uh, gets, the, uh, gets uh, to pay you at less than true odds. But if you buy a bet, you're buying a bet at true odds. So you have to pay a VIG. For example, there's, uh, uh, you know, if you buy the 4 or the 10 and you, you're buying for $25, then you're going to be charged a uh, dollar or a $2 uh, VIG. It depends on what the casino charges in there. But uh, there is also a method called pressing the casino uh, for the VIG. And I wrote, a, I wrote a book called Powerful Profits from Craps, and I detail that in there in quite, in quite details. And again, there's some more information on my website called morecasinodeals.com. But you know, I mean, uh, it, you, you you can press the casino. For example, if you can uh, if you can buy the four or the ten for thirty eight or thirty nine dollars instead of the the forty dollars, then uh, then uh, the casino can't pay you in fractions because the actual the actual vig would be a dollar seventy five, I think. And uh, and so uh, what that means is that they will only charge you uh, the dollar, and not the two dollars that you would for the forty dollar bet. And so what happens is that you can actually reduce the house edge on that uh, uh, well below the, what it normally would be. The, the average, I'm, I don't remember this exactly because I haven't played craps for a while, uh, but I think you can reduce it to uh, just below 2% on that. But don't hold me to it on this broadcast because, again, uh, there are differences in different craps tables, whether it's strip and downtown local or whether it's in other casinos than, uh, than Las Vegas. So there are some of those subtle differences, and I do explain all of that in my book, Powerful Profits from Craps. And you can find it out by going to my website and clicking the link which says Vegas Vic on Amazon, and you can you know, look it up over there. Hello, Vegas Vic back again. Uh, thank you very much for watching our program. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It's very easy. Just click the subscribe button on your screen. It only takes a second, and then you'll be notified every time we post a video. You can also follow me on Twitter. My handle is at gaming author. So until next time, I'll see you soon. So long. Mm -hmm.